Hurricane Katrina and beyond. Uh, uh, she survived COVID-19. Uh, we're talking to a man this morning who for the past 100 years has seen it all. And on Sunday, he turns 101. That's a lot of birthday candles on that cake. So we're glad to have Not Farrington on the program this morning. This is a big one for you. You've seen so much change in this city. Not is there with his uh, daughter, Rebecca. And Not, I was so glad to have you on the show because finally there's somebody on the show who's older than me. And uh, what, what, and uh, the reason why I wanted to have you on, because because uh, not not has, has had a long life. You still do stuff in your yard. We've got video of you with a chainsaw, and and uh, Rebecca, you were kind of holding them up on the ladder. But for a guy a hundred years old working with a chainsaw, that's a lot. It is a lot, huh? He doesn't stop. <laughs> Does, there is no way of stopping him. Well, Rebecca, when I can, took the video can, of him on the ladder, I thought he's not getting on the ladder, but yet he got on the ladder. Yeah, and, and can you get your, your dad to talk? <laughs> Go ahead and talk, Daddy. Uh -huh. Tell him what all you do. Oh, well, I do just about anything I, I want to do right now, yeah. I'm lucky that my health is as good as it is, so I stay pretty busy all the time, especially with the garden and all, you know? And I'll tell you, nothing gets your dad down, Rebecca, because he got COVID-19, he survived it, he passed it along to you, it's the gift that keeps on giving, but because but, you yes. and your sister were taking care of him. Yes, we had to almost take shifts. Now, when he first got it, he was still determined to walk, work in the garden, and then after about five days, he, the fatigue set in. And so I would be in the morning, and she'd do the evenings, and then we'd switch up back and forth, taking care of him. And at one time, we really thought this was it. We were going to lose him because he was so fatigued. Yeah. But as you can see, he's back cutting down trees and cutting the grass again. So he's pretty amazing. It is pretty amazing. And not what do you what do you uh, uh, attribute your long life to? Staying, staying busy, active, and all you know, eating the right things and all. Mm -hmm. Staying busy has had a lot to do with it. And I'm told that a cocktail helps, too. Oh, you, oh, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. After a hard day cutting grass and all, you could use one. <laughs> and we showed a picture of yeah, you with I, Harry Lee. And, 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 and uh, Rebecca, your dad worked for Harry Lee for many years. Yeah, 33 years I worked here, Fleet Commander of the Sheriff's Office for Harry. Yes, yeah, 33 years. Uh -huh. And you you uh, you worked with cars all your life. You were a race car driver at one time, weren't you? Yes, uh -huh. yeah. I set some. I uh, did quite a bit of automobile racing back in uh, during uh, my life, and uh, I built a car and set several records at the Bonneville Salt Flats and all. Mm -hmm. Pretty impressive. And and at, at 101, will you still be driving or just working in the yard? Oh, no, I still drive, you bet. Of course you do. <laughs> uh, do you still race? No, not much racing right now. I had to give that up. I donated a car that I set the records with at Bonneville. I donated a car to the Louisiana State Hall of Fame in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Yeah. So the car has a home up there now. And, and what are your big plans for your 101st birthday? Uh, just... Same old thing, you know. I don't, not, nothing big, you know. You're not going to like build a house a or chop down a right? tree or something? Probably have, uh, uh, go and have dinner, have lunch and all with my, my daughter Kim and all. They'll probably have a few people over and all. Mm -hmm. Last year it was a, a real big birthday and also, you know, slow it down a little bit this year. Really going to slow it down so <laughs> maybe not cut as many trees down? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Hope not. All right. Well, if I ever need any lawn work, can I hire you? If he needs any lawn work, can he hire you? Oh, you uh, guarantee. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not Rebecca, thank you very much. That's Welcome. Just... Thank you. All right. It was wonderful to see you guys. And happy right, 100. Thanks, Eric. We'll see you on your 102nd, 3rd, and 4th, and 5th. I hope to be I'm thinking here. so. Good. Thank you, Eric. All right.